Guys, what's up? This is Football Girl by T, my first feature video. So, I'm covering the Premier League Championship League 1 and League 2. So, we're getting to the end of the season and relegation is starting to build up now. So, I've got this a cold, but. And the Premier League, let's just get straight into this. So, we got West Brom in a math fold. Well, they, they could mathematically stay up if they win both of the games. Darren Moore's done a really good job handing us the title. Yeah doing all that stuff um but yeah he, they're unbeaten since Darren Moore's taking charge and oh yeah like, I'm not sure 19 so I'm in the middle half was Brom half was one I'm going to say both which is Southampton I reckon they're just still in the mix for staying up really and yeah they they have ch they have an all around chance they do uh yeah I, I just can't see them down yet Seventeen swans, they have a ch big chance of going down really if Southampton stay up. If Southampton stay up, then that's the team I'm saying they're going down. Just not the performances in, since they won the last game, just not being good enough. I'd. I mean, the last performance against, performance against Chelsea was a good performance, but apart from that, not good enough. Okay. Um, above that, we have Huddersfield. So Huddersfield, they got promoted last season by beating Reading on penalties. But I reckon they are, they're in the mix like an immediate return to the championship. But yeah, they got Arsenal, City, this team, and um, Chelsea in the last three games. And I think the only club they've got a chance of beating is Arsenal. Yeah. And they're playing quite well too. Can't really give many critics to anyone at the moment apart from the waveform of Arsenal. Okay, next we have Watford, I think. Yeah, yeah Watford. So with Watford, we, uh, well, they've mixed season, really. They've t new manager, started well, not, not, not good enough. At the moment, a bit like Swansea, but, yeah, I mean, I can't, I know, I'm not, I can't say I'm whether to stay up or go down, because I think it's just evil at the moment, really. The other team with West Ham did suffer a 4 one defeat to Man City, which put up, put up to 102 Premier League goals, beating the century. Yeah. Um, well with a bit of a it's gonna be a bit of a mix around changing their goalkeeper twice. Yeah, and a lot more of the double scoring against his former club and own got a well, yeah, an own goal against his former club. And um yeah, it's been a mix for West Ham the season. Yeah, I mean part of the season they've had a really good run and so I think they've had good runs, bad runs, good runs, bad runs. I think that's that's what you can say for West Ham the season. So good, bad, you know, it's uh really. I don't, I can't really say much about West Ham. So I mentioned what food. Now Brighton. Brighton, again like how that how the mixed season has a good results and bad results. I uh, for the first season they probably should, they've actually done quite well they have. Considering I thought they would get an immediate return to the championship after their last few games were just shocking luck. I I was expecting them to win, they didn't really win any of them since they got pre there's like a promotion was confirmed they lost the gap to Newcastle who won the title who well they've secured safety they have so it doesn't really matter I'm not going to mention them okay Bournemouth so this is a team that not many people have mentioned really Bournemouth so they've that's just one of the teams who had enough next season bad run good run they've made 16 points from losing positions they have and yeah I can't really say much again for Bournemouth 11 Crystal Palace, I think they're practically safe now, but I think they could mathematically go down. They're on 38 points. I think that is enough, and yeah, they could still get top 10, really, and I think that's really good play. So, Roy Hodgson's done a great job turning them around from seven wins without a goal, obviously, being teams like, yeah, beating Chelsea and that having a really, having that really good run and draw, um, ending Man City's 18-game winning run. Then soon they went on to lose 4 3 to Liverpool, and then lose 3 0 down 2 1 at home. Even though we did beat them 5 0 in September. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the Premier League. Now, going into Championship, um, I there's a lot of teams in contention here. I think I'm not, I'm not fully that Reading and that, but I think Thunderland have gone down, obviously, we all know that. Bolton and Burton, right, they're in the bottom three. So are Barnes, Barnsley are just above on goal difference. And then we got Reading, and I'm not looking at the tables at the moment, but uh, yeah, 
I reckon, yeah, a lot of teams, they've got a chance of going down in the championship. I think it's very tight. So I'm not going to say much about these leagues. But yeah, I just think it's the championship. You don't really want to be in League One. Because you're in the second tier. Tier of English football, you know, it's still mentioned a lot. But then, if you're going to go down to League One, League One isn't such as a major league as the championship. Um, so yeah, it's kind of tough. So we've got... Bolton, Burton, Barnsley, Birmingham and Reading all in contention of going down. If Bolton are nearly down, the only chance they have actually have a stay up like, is to get a pretty much a uh, win that will get them really high up the table above Birmingham so that the high second finish is 19th, which I doubt. But Burton and Barnsley technically are both in the bottom three, just Barnsley got a better goal difference. Birmingham Hull and Reading, I just mentioned, and Hull are safe. League One, so we've got our promoted side Black, but we're going to black them. But we've already got two relegated, um, NK Dolphins and, and Barry. So we still got England intention of going down. We still got Walsall, Wimbledon, Oldham, Rochdale, and Northampton. So uh, we got. So obviously Rochdale is starting to turn around a bit and it would be really good if they could stay up for a late. Um, I don't really know much about League One because I don't really watch it but I do kind of know about League One which is good. So Rochdale, obviously they had a really bad, they were stuck in 20 so for it. They've been stuck at second bottom for a more major, majority of the season until so, they started moving up the table were bottom at some points. <laughs> yeah, so if they stay up that would be remarkable I'm sure for them. Oldham, they've really just been around this position for most of the season. I'm going to say again, a 50-50 chance of staying up. Obviously, they have that one point advantage of Rochdale, they do. Yeah. What I can say is they, they just got to try and stay up. Um, yeah, so they've got that bonus of having that one extra point and being above the relegation zone. Wimbledon and Warsaw will have a chance of staying up. Goal difference could, the only be, could be the only thing that could put them down into a lower division which would be late being late to Wimbledon getting promoted two years ago but also having quite a long run in League One at the moment. So yeah. In League Two we've already got champions and promoted. Um so now we're I'm just going, going to go on to relegation. So this is gonna go down to a big battle in the last day of the season. Okay so in contention we got Morecambe and Barnet who could go down really. I think Morecambe will go down. Because there's one reason here. We've got Barnet playing Chesterfield, who are the only team that are below them, and they're relegated. So, yeah. Um, and Morgan are playing Coventry, who are currently sixth in the table. They are. And I think Coventry could get a comfortable win against Morgan, and Barnet could get a win against Chesterfield. And if that happens, Morgan go down by a point to the National League, which is. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to mention this much on the channel. I might occasionally. But Barnet, I reckon Barnet will stay up, so I think it's, that'll be a really good, that'll be really good for Barnet having been stuck at the bottom for a part of the season. Yeah, for, I, I say, you know, like a chunk of the season, I think that'll be a great achievement. So that comes to the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed this all round guy, uh, or not, oh my god, that's my main channel, this um, football guy YT video. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya later.